C.H. Tuam Hill Plateau Remediation Company is using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding to enhance methods and equipment for removing transuranic or true waste from underground storage at the Hanford site. Out at the 12B burial ground, C.H. Tuam Hill has removed the first drums of waste from Trench 17, marking the completion of more than a year of preparatory work. C.H. Tuam Hill used stimulus funds to implement a series of processes and technologies, or the next generation in retrieval capabilities that will help reduce worker handling and costs associated with retrieval of transuranic waste. We, ju we just completed uh, the retrieval of our, of our first three drums out of the, out of the trench. Uh, we've been working on this project since uh, uh, November when I started the, uh, to come over. It's been working for the last couple of years, but uh, this is a big milestone here because it's part of the ARRA funds. Um, 12B, um, is, has two trenches in it. We've got a total of 2,900 drums uh, to come out of the trench, about 40, roughly 40 boxes, small boxes. Um, some of which are of the drums are going to be uh, remote handled drums, high, higher dose drums. So we've been uh, out here the last year. We've had uh, had to put in um, six systems, uh, four of which are brand new as part of the next generation retrieval project, which is what the 12B project is. It's the next generation retrieval project. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the six uh, systems in place. We've had to write 10 new procedures. We had to qualify and train 23 NCOs, 17 RCTs, qualify an entire FIRO team for our emergency preparedness group, and go through a readiness assessment. So over the last year, we've been, we've been uh, pushing to, to get that done. So um, the guys out here have done just an awesome job uh, getting all that together and, and working as a team. So we built a, just a great working team. The name Next Generation comprises the new or revised processes for retrieving containers from the trench, as well as subsequent activities that include non-destructive assay, venting, and non-destructive evaluation real-time radiography, which essentially x-rays the contents of a drum to identify items prohibited for disposal at the waste isolation pilot plant. In comparison to previous methods, processing of waste drums occurs closer to the trench site. The work will facilitate CH Tilm Hill's goal to remove 2,500 cubic meters of true waste from the Hanford site by the end of fiscal year 2011. So far, CH Tilm Hill has removed more than 1,000 cubic meters of waste from the trenches and shipped 843 cubic meters of that waste for treatment, storage, or disposal.